and as I promised, I'm gonna um, guide you through the basics of yoga. So, if you're starting yoga now, or if you wish to start yoga, you can follow this short video, and I'm gonna guide you through the fundamentals of the asanas, which are the postures of yoga. Okay, we're gonna start with the very basic um, movement, with a very basic sequence, just for you to understand how to move in yoga and what is important. So the main thing is that you're able to move with the breath, is the breath initiated movement, okay? So that's the most important thing, that you're able to link your movement with the breath. And the, the breath, uh, your breathing, um, you should never feel constricted or tight, okay? Uh, it should feel fluid, okay? It should feel something natural. If you notice that you are holding your breath or you're tensing your body, just stop for a second pause and then start again. Another important thing in yoga, the yoga asanas, um, is that everything starts from your core, okay? So imagine your body um, like a um, starfish, okay? So you have the centers and then all your limbs spreading from here. So everything starts from here and come back, come back here, okay? So your legs, imagine legs, arms, neck and head, and even your tailbone, okay? Everything is starting from this center here. So, said that, um, a movement that you often find in a yoga class to warm up your spine is the cat and cow movement, okay? So going to that, if you want some more padding for your knees, if the mat, if the floor is too hard, you can use a blanket, everyone has a blanket, okay? So you place your blanket under your knees, you have your um, wrists in line with your shoulders and your legs should be in line with your hips. So your knees in line with your hips, okay? Like a 90 degree angle. Then spread your fingers on the floor. That's very important. Create the base for every pose. So here, all the knuckles of your hand, they should be pushing down on the mat. Try not to raise this one. The index finger is the one that usually wants to come up, so try to push it down, okay? Gently, don't create too much tension, but this is gonna create a very good stable base for the rest of your asanas. So start from here with your breath. So inhale, and you're gonna drop your belly down, your chest forward, your shoulders back, and you're gonna look just in front of you, okay? And then when you are ready to exhale, you round your back, and look at your knee, okay? And you keep going with this basic movement, inhaling, moving with the chest forward, your shoulders back, and exhaling, pushing your hands down, looking at your knee, okay? So when you move forward, imagine a very lazy cow, and when you move, rounding your back, imagine like a Halloween cat, okay? Relax your neck down and look towards your navel. So this is your cat and cow pose, okay? So when you are moving into a cow pose, imagine this movement, so shoulders back, chest forward, that's what you want to do. And then rounding when you go into a cat pose, okay? Then from there, from here. So thinking about your navel, from this all fours position, draw your navel towards the spine and then release, okay? And then again, draw your navel towards the spine and release. And now you're gonna do a tiger pose. That's what they're called, apparently. So you're gonna inhale, extend the right leg back, parallel to the floor, okay? Check that your both hips bone are square, okay? You extend your leg back, and then with the exhalation, you bring it back to the initial position, to a certain position. And then again, inhale with the left, check your hips. Uh, 
let's say, and back. In this position, you want to keep your neck nice and long as well, okay? You can look at the floor if you want. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, bring it back down. Again, inhale, extending the left leg back, and back down. And we're gonna try to stay quite stable, okay? If I move this way, you're gonna notice that my hips, perhaps, they don't move too much, okay? So I stay stable here. I don't move all the way here, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. Then, this is gonna build stability in your core, okay? So start from the basic. So this is one. Then we can add another little bit to this. So inhaling, extending the right leg back, left arm forward, saying, Find your stability here, stay in the center. Exhale, come back. And then again, inhale, right arm, left leg. Check your hips if you want, stay in the center. And back. And again, right arm, left leg. And back. Last one, right arm, left leg. And back. Okay? So, and this is your tiger pose. Now, these are already two very basic movements that you can do to start connecting your breath with the movement, okay? And now, from there, I'm gonna bring you into a child pose. The child pose might feel a little bit weird at the beginning if you don't have much flexibility here where your ankle are on the top of your feet. Or even in your knees, you can find it that it's not very comfortable. That's absolutely no problem. The yoga session has to be comfortable for you. It has to be comfortable for you. It has to make you feel better, not worse, okay? So to avoid that, you will take a blanket, okay? If the problem is with your knees and you want to release tension there, place it here, okay? Between your hip bones and your heels. You can take your knees a little bit wider apart and then you will go here, okay? This is a child pose. Now, if the floor is too far away, don't worry too much at the beginning. Maybe it's not available to rest the forehead on the floor. You can make a cushion with your forearms, okay? And this is going to stretch your back, lower back, middle back, your arms, if your arms are extended, okay? And I think to every yoga class is where you're going to go, the teacher is, is very often <laughs> going to say that you can take a child pose anytime you want during the session, or they should say, okay? This is a resting pose, is to regroup, recenter. So every time you feel tired, or every time you feel that maybe the sequence is, a little, is becoming a little bit too much for you, you can stop and take a child pose. No one is going to tell you why are you in child pose, okay? Also, the child pose is a very resting, like grounding position, okay? That's why they say, they say like, take a child pose because it really brings you in, okay? It's like bringing you into your cocoon. Okay, so from the child pose, wherever you are into the child pose, you can start walking your hands forward, okay, away from you towards the front of the mat. You inhale, you come up, you tuck your toes under, and then you send your sitting bones up towards the sky, okay? And this is your, the beginning of your down dog, okay? So in down dog, the main thing is that your spine is straight, okay? Let alone the legs for the moment. Then you start... When your spine is straight, so you bend your legs as much as you need to, it might be here, it might be here, it might be here, okay? It depends. Then from here, if you feel that your spine is straight, you relax your neck, press all the knuckles down, and then you start warming up the back of your legs, your hamstrings, okay? So sending one heel at a time towards the floor. You inhale. Use the inhalation to swap side, exhale, send the heel down, okay? And keep going like this until you feel 
then your body is warming up okay you can do a little bit of freestyle here twisting stretching the sides of your body and then once you have enough you bring your knees back down to the mat and you take a child pose maybe with your palms facing up okay so you can rest your wrists it might be a little bit like too much at the beginning when you're going up in your down dog you're gonna feel it in your wrists okay so try to warm up perhaps at the beginning and try to press all the knuckles down on the floor another good advice for your down dog position so if you're here and you try to bring your pinky finger towards your thumb you're gonna feel here your bicep is hugging forward okay so towards your heart center that's what you want to do with your arms when you are down in in your down facing dog okay so if you try again take the distance between your feet and your hands pretty much this and then you can make an adjustment that you feel like inhale up tuck your toes under exhale go towards your down dog okay now try this movement imagine bringing your pinky finger towards your thumb notice what happens in your arms bring your navel in your ribs in spine is straight is if the spine is not straight bend your legs stay here for a couple of breaths and release knees down and rest it on your heels okay so these are already three basic movements that you're gonna find pretty much in every yoga session so now if you want to practice a little bit on your own in the comfort of your own house you can do that you can follow these basic guidelines and then see how it goes you can let me know in the comments below i would be very happy to answer to you and to chat with you and until the next video Thank you very much. Namaste.